forward. As is likely the case with most readers of Intentional Conversations, I don't remember my first conversation. In fact, I can barely remember several I had yesterday. The reason for that is simple. Those easily forgettable conversations weren't intentional. It doesn't have to be the case, however. I know I can improve because I've had a much better example. But like any worthwhile endeavor, it takes focus and effort. As a not-so-young adult, I decided to change careers, leave the world of finance, and become a technology entrepreneur. I had no idea what I was doing. But I had an advantage that wasn't obvious at the time. My dad. He didn't know much about business or technology, either. But that didn't really matter. He is a gifted teacher, an effective communicator, and most importantly, knew how to ask the right question and follow it up with an intentional conversation. He combined that with an unwavering faith in his students' ability to solve their own problems if they ask and answer the right questions. Recalling those memorable conversations with my dad wasn't difficult, even years later, not because I can remember the specific problem or question, but because I remember the feeling I usually left with. I felt encouraged to relax artificial, self-imposed constraints, empowered to take action, capable, I could do it, and supported. We were in it together. Ken Tucker's Intentional Conversations is a fresh and positive reminder of the power of going beyond shooting the breeze and using conversation to get to the heart of work and life, learning what's in other people's hearts. So go ahead, ask a question, and start a conversation. One of my favorite Intentional Conversation starters is, Are we missing anything? I'm always amazed at what I learn. Jeffrey S. Hussey, Advisor, Fluid Capital, LLC, and Netbooks, Inc., co-founder and former CEO, F5 Networks.